all got to be. <gasps> that's the biggest thing I've ever seen no, in my life. No, I can't go in there. I can't no. go in there. Or we have to check out. Oh, my God. It's messy. No, turn it off. Turn it off. Nobody wants to see. Hi y'all, I'm Ashton. In 2020, I was newly single and furloughed from my big city job. So I left Houston in the middle of a pandemic in search of a fresh beginning. I started by sailing from Texas to the US Virgin Islands, made some new friends and got a great tan. Then I took myself on a solo road trip to see as many epic views as I could find in four weeks. Join me for season two with all new experiences, people and places. I can't wait for you to see what I have planned for the ride. Subscribe and follow along. After all, to live would be an awfully big adventure. All right, continuation. Done my work this morning. Oh, Abuelo is back. That's Abuelo. It's always, literally always right here. <gasps> oh, and uh, Ab Abuelito? Is that how you say grandma? Pardon me. Oh. <laughs> And Tia, we've got them all. All the lizards today. Um, oh my gosh, there's, there's another one down there. Okay, squirrel, not squirrel, iguana. Today's adventure is going to be uh, fun and a little scary. Today we are renting a car and driving through Tulum uh, to go see a few more cenotes and to go back to town because the taxi drivers monetarily took advantage of us last time. Uh, the fact that we are women. So we are renting our own car, driving in Mexico. If anyone remembers the drive, the learning how to drive on the islands. Mind you, this isn't on the wrong side of the road, but it will still be a grand adventure, I'm sure. Especially because I don't know jack about kilometers and speed limits and all of that. Fun, it's fun. De eso, más un 30% que queda como garantía. Okay, so we're at Dos Ojos, which is apparently Tres Cenotes. It was like one big package or just see one. Life jackets are included, cash only, which we probably should have prepared for, but. So, so we will go see the Dos Ojos. We did not come with enough cash, and this whole place is cash only. So, we're going to ration what we have to get lunch and margaritas. Megan's trying to barter for us over there. Good job, Megan. <laughs> if anyone can do it. So we have oh, okay. strawberry flavored, tamarind and chili, tamarind, cream, and chocolate. Yeah, that looks like chocolate. Hazelnut. Chocolate and hazelnut. Hazelnut. Okay. Irish cream, tamarind, tamarind chili, the strawberry, and we have the drink. This is pure chocolate distillate white, reposado, the other month, the white flowers. Age three years, extra five years. Mm, I have the taste. The taste is free. Would you like taste it? Sure. Which one would you like? I want to try a tamarind con chile. Tamarindo con chile. Y okay. ella siempre se acá quiere fresa. Fresa, claro que sí. You said? Uh, suka, is it sweet or dulce? Dulce? A little bit. A little bit? Yes. What was that? If you like it, it we'll get shots. You can buy a bottle or buy the shot. This is just a taste. So it actually has little, this is a strawberry, Teresa. Oh, wanted a margarita, but this might be as close as it gets. Oh, hello, papito. Is that it? Pero? Dog? Pero. Okay, ready? Para arriba, para abajo, para centro, para adentro. Yeah, it tastes like a margarita. These are just juice. I'll have four. I'll make it through. Mm. Thank you. 
Gracias. All right. Now we're gonna go cool off in sun a bit in Dos Ojos Cenote. So I guess I was confused. I thought that one of the other cenotes was part of the Dos Ojos. So we, so there are two ojos. Two and this one. First and second one. This is my second video where we talk about the cenotes of Mexico that we visited while we were in Tulum. And I had to look it up for myself. Google tells me that a cenote is a natural pit or sinkhole resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes groundwater. The regional term is specifically associated with the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, where cenotes were commonly used for water supplies by the ancient Maya and occasionally for sacrificial offerings. Not my cutest look. It's okay. It's so cold. Good cold. It feels very refreshing. <laughs> Definitely more of a easy tourist destination. We only paid 20 bucks to get in, so this is what you'd expect for, for that. There's a ton of people here. Just kind of going to hang out and sit. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I would have paid a lot more to not have all the people here. I don't want people. Okay, time to get cold again. The water is so, so cold. So, so cold. And I grabbed a life jacket that did not fit this time. It's fine. It's really cold, so. I try not to splash you.
Let's see what this is. Dry cave. Can you walk back up in here? <gasps> you can. No touchy. No touch. Oh my gosh. By the way, very, very low clearance. Oh my gosh, this is magical. It's magical. Okay. There's no one down here and it's utterly magical. It's so quiet. I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. So cool. And that was just a little walk through that was right next to the Dos Ojos. So cool. Okay. Now we're going to dry off and go into the city and do multifaceted adventuring today because we have a car. Oh! Now I'm back on the other side. Okay. Okay. Now I gotta run and catch up with them. All right. We have changed just right by the car into new outfits. <laughs> Smell a little, fresh. a little fresh, little cenote ish. Uh, and now let's drive into town. Let's, yeah, let's go. This main drag of Tulum proper only has one lane going each way, so the traffic was really bad this night because it had also rained. So the potholes were mega potholes, and the roads were really, really muddy and hard to drive on. <laughs> The bottom is where the tequila is. It was not that yeah, strong earlier. It's it was not. <laughs> All right, we made it into this hat. It's a bit mess. Oh, we made it into the city proper. Just gonna do some walking and eating and drinking and sightseeing. Look, everything's so pretty. So yeah. All right. Yeah. I've seen this on Instagram, so I had to come. But I'm also here for the cold brew. I'm too tall. Look. <laughs> so many stairs. I feel like I've seen these places before. Like those are all yes, they sit in. It's the ocean. traffic jam 
goes on for a very long time. I bet it takes us forever to get home. Forever. Okay, a little sad I didn't record it. Uh, we got to the gas station to fill up the rental car. Then we went to a really popular one. And they tried to tell me that the credit card machine wasn't working and we had to pay cash. Mind you, we don't have any cash because all day long it's been, oh, we only take cash, we only take cash. So we just sit there and be like, I don't have any cash. Like your credit card machine, it was obvious that he was like trying to lie to us. Just, God, it sucks so much that they like keep trying to like swindle us and like hate that. And like, we know we're being taken, taken advantage of. Yeah, so basically, and he tried to tell us there was like an ATM around the corner, and I said, no, that's the only card I have. It's like, well, my machine is broken. That's all I have. I said, the cenotes took my cash. That's all I have is that card. And he was like, it's not an ATM card. And I was like, no, it's a credit card. That's all I have. And finally, after coming back, he came back again, tried to show us that the machine was broken, and he had just really taken the battery pack off of it. And then I said, I don't need a receipt, but that's all I have. I can take it or not. That's it. And then lo and behold, the machine was magically fixed. So really just spent all day long. It was like that with the rental car situation. It was like that with the rental car. All of a sudden had all of these extra fees on it. One thing after the other with like, one thing after the other with Mexico. It's just not, it's beautiful. It's been double or triple the amount if they would just not try and scam us out of everything. But that's what it feels like. It feels like everything's a scam. Everything, everyone's being swindled. I don't know if, I don't know if they do it to the men because we're three women together or what, but it's been a pretty negative experience. That portion has been a pretty negative experience for Mexico and I would definitely warn others about it. Man, literally every day, every time we leave the resort, we've been swindled in one way or another. Just stick to your guns, I guess. That's the best I can, best I can offer, I guess. Tyler, like, please get the video. Where's the video? Get I'm the doing camera. it. I'm get doing it, camera. but I want to go in there. Fuck that. Look at that thing. Holy shit. <gasps> All gotta be. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen no, in my life. No, I can't go in there. I can't no. go in there or we have to check out. Oh my God. It's messy. No, turn it off. Turn it off. Nobody wants to. I don't know that I can go over the bar. Over the bar. But if you, if you pull the towel down, it's not going to hit it, right? Yeah, but I don't know if it's going to. <laughs> Sorry, I normally am stronger than this. I can normally do this. I can with a normal size bug, but this is like I an animal. Do this. this is how I die. Tell Jason I love him. Can you see it? I don't. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to be a delight. Or in my no, he's in the corner. He's in the corner. Okay, don't move anything. Just don't move anything. Don't move anything. Don't move. Oh God. <laughs> Still got my shoe. In case he crosses the threshold. Airport. I grab coffee. Head to the airport. It's like an hour and a half ride to the airport, uh, and then I should be back in Houston by 7 p.m. Excuse you. And then it's adios Mexico. If you enjoyed this episode, you can check out more at AshtonOnAdventure.com or hit subscribe up at the top and follow along in the next adventure.